The following program contains scenes and language of a frank and explicit nature. Discretion is advised. The hell was that? You guys just did like a unit. Ah! No, I don't know because I couldn't hear. I just realized that I think it's not good that we're here. <laughs> this is it's too early. It's Sunday morning for us. I can hear again. Um, my hearing's back. That's what, ah! that's what happened to me when I had my first hearing test. My first. My, it was my only one. And uh, and I and I went in the little hearing thing, and she was on the other side. I don't know if you guys have had had one before. Beep. Yeah, and and she. <laughs> so I thought she started, and I couldn't hear anything, and I started going, "I can't hear it." I started crying, and she goes, "What's wrong? What's wrong?" And she and she went around. Like, and she went, but I just heard did this right already. now. Didn't you hear this already? I did. She told them. You just told oh, the story. Told <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I gotta go. I'm there's something wrong. I I clearly have. I'm sorry you couldn't be here today, that's Heidi. What, that's um, what I just did right now. <laughs> Uh, we are joined as usual. What do you need? I don't know. I'm just scared. He's uh, we he's have good. a dog. He's dog. Good. Oh, okay, good. He wants to get to, get out the door. You want me to let him out the door? Uh, hi, buddy. Yeah, um, Ziggy, Heidi's dog, is joining us today, Yay. and so is uh, Gina from Fifty States of Madness <laughs> podcast. I'm only twenty five states. Twenty five states half. of madness. I'm only half. Sorry. Look at this fucking idiot. Did <laughs> look at this. Look what he did to her. You really got her good with that one. <laughs> Heidi spilled all over Only her. Only the twenty-five states. All over those today. titties. Come on. You maybe it's me because you did that in my car a couple <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> she spilled her Red Bull. No, she didn't spill it. She was sitting oh, there. We we're sitting in the car. We were waiting for you. Mm-hmm. And we were oh, sitting the concert, there talking. The... And she had a can of Red Bull and we we're just talking. Oh, I remember. And she yeah. had it just leaning in her lap. <laughs> she looked down and she's like I thought I was like peeing. I was, we're not, I was like, like, what is, why is it so wet? Am slowly I slowly like, dribbling out? <gasps> In Wisconsin, you hold the can upside down. That's how you do oh, it. So oh, she, was, she was a little okay. confused. Right. Um, Gina, I want to, I want to welcome you with a song if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, did, did somebody write a song for me? Artificial intelligence did. Oh, shit. Okay. Gina and Shannon, they're the hosts of the show. I'm so sad she's not here to hear this. Talking about the states, wherever they go. Gina's got tattoos and brass knuckles too. <laughs> Shannon's got moves, but they're not so smooth. Fifty states of madness, always pure delight. Join oh Gina God. and Shannon, dance oh. through the night. Oh Traveling the country, exploring every state. I know. From Alabama to Wyoming. <laughs> they seen it all. Oh my god. Podcasting, sharing stories, having a ball. There you go. Oh my uh, god. I'll send this I, to you. Woo! So sad she's not here. I know. Maybe she would have danced all around this room. What you should do is before she hears this, I'll give it to you and you can put it in your podcast. Oh my and god. And spring it out her on the yes. spot. But oh my God. that's the beauty of, uh, I mean, it's the beauty and the terror of artificial intelligence is that. I think that might be our new, you might the, just, you might just have gotten your music bumped out. It's fine. It's fine. Just pay me off. Pay me out. Okay. And uh, isn't that great though? Oh my God. Gina that, and Shannon. That is yeah. so good. Uh, Shannon has moves, but they're not so smooth. Yes. I think <laughs> that good. might be my favorite line. Hey, the more you rub it, the less it dries. I wet my OCD and I was like, oh my um, God. We gotta make rare form bibs for you, I think. Please. Yeah. That would be so Are you tucking awesome. in your hoodie? <laughs> That's great. Uh, ladies, good to see you. Good to see, good you. To see you. Good what's to be ha- here. What's happening this week? What's going on in the world of uh of you, Gina? Um so we were recording two days ago? A couple days ago we were recording and somehow <laughs> we were talking about a lady who was sick. And she had something called <laughs> uterine congestion. <laughs> and and I was trying to be like really, you know, serious. And I just, same, I, same. I lost it. Yeah. I, I started laughing. Uterine I congestion? Like, what is stuffed up? uterine congestion? Like mucus? So then, I, she, I so then she, <laughs> like, like allergies? No. Well, I was like. Wait, is her uterus congested? Like, I, I was so good. It's 
got the sniffles. So then we started laughing, and I and then of course you know Shannon tries to like explain <clears throat> it. She's like, "Well, I think it has something to do with her urine," and I said, "Well, no, I don't think your uterus has anything to do with your urine. That's bladder, right?" <clears throat> So then she's like, well, wait, maybe it's her urethra. So tell me how we got onto the same subject as you guys had just talked about. Oh, yeah, urethras. Because uh, <laughs> so, for some reason, didn't you ask Heidi if, if women a, have urethras? If men and women both have them. So yeah. Shannon's like, do they? Oh, I, I asked. Yeah. <laughs> do, do they? It, I, well, yes. Yeah. But it's called if, some something else, though. No, right? they're both urethras. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm quite positive. Do we know for sure? Uh, I mean, is it urethra, Fra- Franklin? <laughs> okay, so that's what I said. I, no. It's oh, you guys have to listen to it. It comes out. It comes out on Thursday. You have to listen. I have urethra, to urethra, urethra, Franklin. Franklin. I was like, oh my god. Okay. Where is Iggy? Stop. You guys are the best. Do men and women? Both have both have urethra Franklin's. Urethra Franklin's. Um, what the hell happened here? Um, wow, that's really great. Um, yeah, they do. What's new in the podcast? People, I mean, everyone who listens to this knows that we are huge supporters of Fifty States of Madness. Yes. What's been happening? What's um, the latest? We are. I really want to get out and travel mm. more. Let's go to Blind Frog Ranch. Okay, let's go. Okay. Like, we keep saying that. Yes, yeah. let's Gina, do it. It's, I'm down. It's empty promises. Don't no, even it's think it's not happening. Listen, no, I have s- to ask off work. I have to like, but I'm driving. I think I'm going to drive to Wisconsin in July. Okay. So we could, I don't know, maybe we could meet somewhere. I could do July because I'm off of work at the end of July. The last two weeks Hi. of July. I know. What are you doing? Uh, I get home from tour the first week of July. And you're home for how long? Uh... A while. <coughs> that would right, work for all me. Right. I will. I will. T- I'll, I'll, I'll call him and ask <coughs> him. I'm down to fly. What? You? Look. Uh, I have fly. to. I have to. <laughs> I have to. Uh, I have to get in some you flights. Break these chains. In like the next year and a half, because okay. my daughter's getting married. Oh, that's right. Um, Where? Somewhere in, far away, in right? Mexico. Okay. Um, October 2025. Okay. So I want to. I want to get like a few flights in before then. Why? Because are, are you scared? To the fly? last time I flew, the only time I've flown is when I was 13. I went to Hawaii. It's the but only time I've been. You've home. never flown since? <clears throat> no. But what if the one that crashes is the one before Mexico? Oh my God. It's knock on wood. Uh, well, I mean, then my daughter's already married. Okay. Uh, She's not right. married on New Year's Eve. I oh, met, she is married. That's right. That's I married right. her. That's right. Oh, so you're her, her wife? I, well, I'm, I did the same. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so funny. I get it. Um, um, I'm, go- I'm going on a, it's a 10 and a half hour flight. And I'm terrified right now. Don't be scared. Why? Don't Wait, be you're scared. Going, you're going alone, huh? Yeah. She's flying know, the plane. I don't, I don't know I've, if that's... I think I've always been... A, I think I've always flown, flown alone. You know, I'm drive. afraid to travel by myself. And I used to talk to Ren all the time about this because Ren travels all the time all the time by herself yeah, yeah. and i'm just i guess because i'm so i don't i'm not good at directions that i'm so terrified that i wouldn't even be able to get on my plane no you but you would. can read i mean that's i listen, know but, I, it's i know actually i'm saying that but since you're 13 uh you've been to, even in an airport I have been to LAX multiple times to like drop people off and but not pick them up. It's changed so much. It's so easy. So easy. I mean, it's like you go in and like your gate is B6. There's signs that say gates B through 20 this but way. How do I know what I can take and what I can't take? Oh, what do you mean take? Oh, just go online. Like on my, in, like, isn't there certain things that you can't? Yeah, no breast knuckles, no guns, no bombs. <laughs> yeah, no. No, no fire. No, yeah. yeah. No, no I mean, fire, fireworks. Stuff you, and you know. less than two two ounces. And sometimes I don't even look at some airports. Yeah, like what about my again? shampoo and stuff? Not right. in your carry-on, but put in your luggage. Yeah. Oh, I could just can't have that in my carry-on. You can put whatever you want in your luggage. Well, you can't have batteries. You can't have like lithium batteries and you can't. You can put a gun in your luggage, but you have to let the airline know there's a gun in your luggage. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So don't bring a gun. Okay. I'll um, leave it out. Oh, but, what's, uh, a, what's a lithium ba- battery? Because when they ask me, I'm like, no, with a question mark, because I'm like, I have like a- I believe that lithium batteries are the are the ones that are most likely to ignite on their own, to like oh. start their own fire. But what is a lithium ba- battery? Like, what what do you put it in? Uh, lithium batteries are in like flashlights. They're in- um, I don't. Are they the recharge? They're in vibrators. I don't. I really don't know. Oh. Uh, maybe. 
Oh, huh. yeah. Yeah, I never when they when they ask, I'm always like, no. They kind of don't want any batteries, but like, listen, we're gonna bring batteries on the plane. Right. We all have electric toothbrushes, probably. Yeah. Um, oh. Like, grow up, you know. Oh yeah, that's true. That's so true. I just yeah, just I always just, say no. I yeah. guess I need to just just say no. do my research. But yeah, I'm I'm down to fly somewhere. Even if you're just doing one flight, I would like to suggest highly that you do um, uh, uh, what the TSA pre-check. Okay, what's the up? best? You pay it's like sixty dollars a year mm-hmm. or sixty dollars for five years. Oh, okay. and it gets you, you cut through the security line and you go to oh. like your own line. Yeah, I oh, so I went online and I tried to sign sign up. And then it said in your area, there's no nowhere to go to for for the for the thing. And I was like, how is there nowhere to go? It's L. A. You, you just, have to go to the airport or something, right? No, 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 no. You, you don't go to a th- well. That's for clear to or to do like the no, international. It wasn't clear. Just it was TSA for pre-check. TSA pre-check. You that's go to what Staples. You go to like okay, like everyone does. It, you go to Staples. And they have a little backdrop. You take a picture in front of it. Staples, okay. and they send you. Show in me a week. How, yeah. I don't even how have my passport. Okay. Um, oh, you if you're going to, to Mexico, that. you need a passport. I know. I'm working on it right now. Okay, good. That's not but too yeah, hard to I do. I didn't even have my passport. I don't even have a real ID. Oh, we don't need, need that. So I think we do, don't we? 20... <sighs> so oh, dumb. It's tw- yeah, it's... <laughs> you don't need that until 20. I have a question. I have a question, <laughs> Heidi, since that just happened. Uh, and uh, all honestly, what year did you think it was? I, I guess I knew it was 2024, but you when didn't. I said it out loud, 2023, I'm not yeah. sure. I've well, been all over the place. Listen, my hormones have been all over the place. You have, your butt is full of stuff right I, now. I have new p- pellets in my butt. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I, knew. I know we did pellets in your butt a while ago, right? Yeah, so they, they eventually, they... Disintegrate? Yeah, they go away. And then... I, I can tell instantly. I don't want like anal sex. Yeah, I don't. Well, I don't want sex at all. I don't want anybody to even like look at me. Um, is this I, with or without your pellets? <laughs> this is just in. This is just in, 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 her, in, her, in her waking <laughs> yeah. hours. Every day. Um, I can't sleep. Like the most I've slept in uh, probably five months. The m- most I've slept at night in a row two hours. What? So I wonder why I'm like a little overweight. I feel I'm cranky. All the like I'm. Very I think you look wonderful, rare. and I tell you that every thank, time that I see you. you I but love you. Thank you. I don't think that you're overweight thank at you. all. But I am. I'm, you know, I just feel I don't feel right. Like my, no, I get I it. Feel, I know. Yeah, and I'm. I'm sweaty. Oh, <laughs> well, it's like yeah, I'm sweaty, I'm sweaty all, the all the time. <laughs> what a catch! <laughs> I am. I'm sweaty all the time. Yeah. I said that at the same time, just like yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but but I just I just you don't feel like I feel anxious. So when they do your panels, unfortunately, as a woman, we have to go and spend a thousand bucks at a place because your insurance will not c- cover it in your OBGYN. I have the best one at Cedars and I had one at UCLA UC- and they will not give you what you need. They say, here's some Prozac. Here's this and that to cover up. It's the most in fucking poor it's insane it's awful what you mean instead of being on um hormones like yeah, hormone like, so, replacement so so when i went in before i was i found this woman named Ste- stephanie wolf who owns no it's called no novice and she actually invented this thing for guys dicks it's called this not women's dicks <laughs> hey in this, in this day day day. Day. you're right you're right fair enough <laughs> Yeah. Um, it's I would called... only suck a woman's dick for the record because I'm not gay, <laughs> but I'll suck a woman's dick. Um, it's like some so- sonic thing, and it, it helps a guy who can't get it up or erectile dysfunction, or whatever. But she invented this thing, and she and she went on Stern with with it, and everything. Mm. it's really. But so she takes pay- payment plans. But be- before I saw her, I went to my my doctor, and I was like, okay, I can't. Like I had. I have stage four endometriosis. I had a hysterectomy, which most people don't want to t- talk about, but I had to ha- have it. Um, it's a I, shameful thing. It's very shameful. You should be ashamed of yourself. Um, so I had all, all these things. <laughs> I'm I'm <clears throat> age appropriate. Like I need can may may I have a panel done? Which is all she has to do is write a script out a prescription. To Quest or whatever blood drawing yeah. ba- bank, not bank, a blood drawing. It's place not there a is. spit test. Nope, it's a, no. Oh, that's you. You can 
barely tell. Like you don't get all your stuff that you needed with the with a spit I, test. Okay, I don't know why I thought hormones were done like a spit test. You you can do them, but it was not as accurate. accurate. Okay, yeah. So and that's all she needed to do. This woman was a very young, not like wonder. She's t- top of her list at Cedars. I waited a year and a half for an appointment with with her. Oh my god! I started to cry when she said no. She said no. That's not what we do anymore. And I'm like, but. May I have it, please? Like, may I have it? My insurance is the best. Like, I, please. What? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm so. This is uh, nothing to what you're saying, but um, someone resent me an article of of when you got your attack, when your attack happened. Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it is because I realized the first time I ever saw a picture of you, <laughs> you were crying, and the fact that you <laughs> you talk about crying so much. <laughs> And you've cried 18, 18 to 40 times in this show. It's just like, I like that that's your identity. I Continue. think I've cried a lot. I remember Heidi's you know. first episode. You do? I do too. I yeah, do. Is that the, the old studio when we had Frank with us, I think? Did, I remember. Frank, yeah. yeah, we did have Frank. Yeah. yeah, I remember. Anyway. When we had... Back to the crying. Big black del- delta on here. He said, I just like to call him that. He yeah. said that it was a beautiful Jonathan Bates. thing. He said yeah, it was a yeah, beautiful it, thing. It is. Anyhow. You're not a cold, you're not a cold person. I'm, mm, I'm just kidding. No, you're not. You're not. But so after all of that, as a woman, as a girl, and even like young girls, like in their tw- 20s, should should have their all their hormones checked. I agree. Um, she wrote on there that she wouldn't. She's like, you know what you need? You just need some estrogen. I go, but how do you know the, the levels of my estrogen? She goes, well, you're this age. So because you are, I just know you're low on them. And you, you had a hysterectomy. I was like. Yeah, but I want to know what about testosterone? That's maybe why I don't want to have sex. Why is it this? Why? Why I, I can't sleep? Oh, this it'll you know it'll pass. You are so allegedly Mm-mm. the best doctor. And then she wrote me out a thing because I was crying that I needed to see a psychologist. <laughs> and you, so that's what w- women in the United States. Yeah. Have to deal with. You should have been a man. They just it's think fucking, we're crazy. It's well, so easy this, for us. I found out as a, wo- so as a woman when you have an IUD in, which I had like years ago. It an is- improvised explosive device they use in war? Yes. Holy shit. <laughs> Ziggy, it is- your mama has an explosive in her vagina. <laughs> it is so painful. Have you ever had, had one before? No. Okay. I've had my tube site since I was 24. Oh, damn. So people but- can just drop nuts in there all day. Yep. Oh, so great. <laughs> Well, that's but the best part. It's, it's painful. <laughs> and even when they're about to do it, they say before they don't say anything. And when you get there, they're like, do you have some someone to drive drive you home? And you're like, uh, no, <laughs> no, you didn't tell me that. And then they're like, OK, so what it's going to feel like is like a contraction in labor. And I was like, oh, oh. That all? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what? That's it. <laughs> And then I found out yesterday at work that men who have like little operation, like things like that are like, would you like to be put out? Would you like some twilight? Would you like some oh, yeah. gas? Would you like this? And us as women are like, we're just going to put this in your fucking cervix. And no, like- I had a friend who got an IUD and we were supposed to go to dinner that night. And she called me. She said, I can't get off my couch. She said, I am on like, I've taken two or three pain pills already. I can't move. She said it was the most painful thing I've ever experienced in my life. Yeah, it's, wow. it's ridiculous. While you guys are in pain with all your woman stuff, guys are just sitting back playing PS5. I know. It's exactly. life. Is, it's so, guys. And they just think exactly. we're crazy. You have no idea exactly. and they, how good it is being one of us. But, yeah. but what they do is they literally I'm write down a script to... Have us go get ch- ch- our, our heads checked. It's like back in the. I was just ch- gonna say that 50s. when it's they lunatics. thought, when, yeah, when, yeah. when yeah. Yeah. women yeah. went through menopause, they you put guys them are, in an asylum. Yes. Yeah. You and guys are fucking witches. Young. You guys this are dirty witches, <clears throat> bitchy <throat> little witches. That's true. Um, we know somebody it, called me and Shannon witches. Well, who did? Tell so, me about this. So we have a few episodes out with. We did a collab with a guy named Zawoki. He does. Um, he does some true crime. He you does. You guys what? fucking blew up after that. After by that, the way. that yeah. was crazy. So we've done that. a couple. He does a bunch of stuff. He yeah. does. Um, he does like a lot of gaming stuff, and he does. How, how do you all spell his last name? Or is that just that's his just name? his name? His name Zawoki? is Nick Hughes, but it's it's uh, Z O W O K I Zawoki. Okay. And so he's really big on the Chris Watts case. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so he does. Hold on. What's the Chris Watts case? Chris Watts is the guy who is in prison for murdering his wife. Righty, you're slipping. His wife, Shanann, and they're two. They put him in the oil tanks. How do I not know? This? Oh, you're about to get really excited then. You should watch. watch. They, they've huge. done like, how many episodes have you done about it? Ton. Th- uh, five, six, seven? Least, Wait, yeah. is Chris Watts the one that they did the documentary on? The guy that. Uh, yes. 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 multiple he had a mistress yes, the one on hbo where where they actually like went to him and they're like and he's like i don't know what happened no, to them. It, I don't, it's, a di- guys- it's not the guy that was interviewed about the his own crimes and that's a different handsome. it's a different guy like, he was it's a different guy I, a yeah, I forget no. who that is but yeah, different, okay. yeah this different is guy. from colorado yeah no this guy was from colorado maybe it's i don't think it's, i don't think it's the same one hmm. okay i don't on. know i'm sorry so anyway maybe. so we um we had done a couple he had reached out and like well, first he, so he, what he does is he does these reaction videos. So he watches people's videos and he reacts to them. So he had done a reaction to our Chris Watts video. So then after that, he reached out and he was like, Hey, you know, do you want to do a collab? We'll talk about it, blah, blah, blah. Now, mind you, he does. I don't know. Probably he posts about three to four videos a day. Holy shit. He posts yeah. like crazy. How many followers? He's at 51,000 subscribers on YouTube. So super cool guy. Um, and, you know, he's just like, I want to get justice for the, it's a it's a lot in the case. So anyway. is the guy is the guy gu- guilty or he's, he's innocent? Or, or I mean, so he, like, he allegedly, is. Like, he, he so what happened was he Chris Watts confessed that he did it, but he did that. So they wouldn't look at his mistress because I believe Nicole Kessinger, who is his mistress, had a lot to do with this. And so she has never been, you know, nothing's ever happened with her. So that's that's his big thing is that he wants her investigated more. Um, She was interviewed one time after the murders, but she came in as a protected witness. So she has connections to law enforcement. Wow. To. um Freemason. She's 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 got a lot of connections. So there's she's a witch. I mean, I, <gasps> yeah. <gasps> it's, yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's like you're watching the show right now. <laughs> it's, it's pretty intense. <gasps> oh my. So anyway, so he oh my he, does, he, does, <laughs> he does a lot of these stories on this case. So somebody that had ties to this family does not like him and has reached out trying to get his uh channel shut down on youtube so i guess this guy had watched one of the collaborations we did with him and he wrote this whole thing saying that shannon and i (laughs) were like two witches and because we (laughs) we collabed with him on it and we were talking shit about um chris watt's parents and and basically all we said was that you know they're just it's there's a lot of conversations that were recorded from jail of him talking to his mom. And it's just a strange, it's, it's a strange relationship mm. that they have. I have to say that nowadays being called witches is kind of a great compliment. But I was it's like, we were cool. laughing. Yeah. We were laughing so hard. We were like, oh man, he really knows us. The witches. <laughs> but yeah, wow. so he was like trying to like <clears> get, <throat> um, he shut his YouTube channel down. And uh, so he wants to get. This is a wokey guy. His, he's trying to get his YouTube channel shut. But it's like, it's now like where Zawoki has sent like a cease and desist letter. Like it's it's getting, it's getting like pretty getting crazy. crazy. Wow. To you yeah. guys? No, no, no. To, to him. Chris to the this the other channel. Yeah. Oh, okay. This yeah. other channel. So um, yeah. So it's. Speaking of, of witchcraft and uh, monsters of the like, we have been talking so much about twins lately. So much about twins. Um, I had a dream about twins the other night. What, what was it? It was just uh, like the inside of the bot, like like the body. I saw like an inside, like it was like cut open. And I, because at work I was saying, I'm like, hey, did you know they have three, three kidneys and two? And they're like, how do you know all this? I'm like, I'm talking about it on my podcast. Uh, excuse me, we've done extensive uh, research. When yeah. I listened to that podcast. <laughs> When you said, "Do they have one driver's license?" I don't even know. Did I say that? <laughs> yes. I remember that. I was gonna I text you either. because I was just like, "It's just like they must, that, right?" Things that you don't think about, but when you said I that, guess. they have two I, names. They have I, two names. So is it one driver's license or two? 
But but on, they can only drive one way. So what do you do? Like duck? Like you put a towel or over this? Her like head? like I'm, yeah. the, I'm driving. This oh, one's hammered. No, when, you, when like, you're no, taking the when you're many. taking the picture, right? Like the you lean in. <laughs> they put, they put that, the hands up like this. That video you um, sent you sent though of them like like dr- driving like pulling up like re- <laughs> like I watch it over and over. It's too like I'm just like yeah yeah just, yeah. yeah. Just, oh, okay, go ahead. So. Um, we're all familiar with these ones. These are some of the most famous ones. That's the ones we, we that talked we about talked them. about. Yeah, yeah the and one the in the basket. One, and the, yes, and the one that's standing up is uh, has transitioned into a man. Well, um, rest in peace to this man and this woman because they are no longer. They have they passed died? away. Both of them? Just re- <laughs> recently? No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I think Heidi <laughs> just Heidi just took over your body for a minute and just said the most <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> yes, there are two people. they both. There are two people. <laughs> Gina, they're but, fucking. But they, <laughs> they're conjoined twins. But they if don't, one, you don't just drag around the they, dead body of the other for the next like, forty weekend at Burnt Burnies, but, but, but like a very like they intense. Don't, but they don't share anything, do they? But yeah, oh, yeah, they share. Fucking, they share their brain, brain is connected. Yeah. Are you shitting me? Do you are, are do your eyes work? Like they're like they're like look the, at like their the brain. Part. Like okay. they have like their part. The <laughs> they just drag. Just come what on, if, fucker. Just this rotting twin in a wagon. On the right side. I want a sidebar. Not World's a- oldest conjoined twins, oh, no. Lori and George, uh, died at age 62. And yes, one of them had transitioned. Yeah. Uh, despite having fused skulls, the twins defied medical predictions and were able to enjoy successful careers Aww. and separate hobbies. Yeah. yeah. When, when, when one likes looking this way. One likes looking this way. One of them was a, a singer, remember? We, we, sh- we saw the video. Is that from these ones? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's the ones that we talked about because... George or the one in the ba- basket. Yeah, you know? I can't believe I said that. <laughs> it w- Listen, it's one of the dumbest things I I've ever heard Shannon you say. With me. It might be the dumbest thing I ever I heard know. you say. Yeah. I told Shannon when I was coming, she's like, oh, she's like, we'll just be there for both of us. So that was my Shannon oh, moment. Shannon, <laughs> you're here in that spirit. That was my Shannon moment. <laughs> oh, God, I can't that was believe insane. I said that. Yeah. Um, because the other ones like have like... Like yeah, like one body and two heads. Well, it's all kinds of different. It's like transformers. You can do all kinds of like Lego, Legos. Conjoined twins are Legos. You can do whatever the fuck you want. But you, these you can ones be conjoined were, to the pinky toe. These ones were cool because I remember them as kids, and these were the ones we talked about. Because the other one was the one was engaged. Do you remember the, ep- <laughs> the episode? And he got that hit, was the- hit by a drunk driver. <laughs> that was the first episode you talked about. You like that one? Oh my god, I'm crying. Yeah, um, that, or it was, uh, I lost it, was it on that one. So, oh. it was, it was, uh, I uh, this was oh, sent that's to us. Sad. I this, wonder how how they died. Um, <laughs> I didn't mean to laugh after that. I didn't. Mean, this was sent. This story died. was sent to me by our listener Jamie, and she goes, "I'm sure this has been sent to you a bunch, but no, this is the first time." But oh, she I love sent Jamie. She sent a, a a thought on this. Question one: You're already sharing thirty percent of your brain. You've defied expectations by living to the age of 62, and you represent 0.02% of the global population. So that makes you fairly unique already. Except one of them identified as a man. Okay, let's go with that. Let's support that. Except if your conjoined sister shares 30% of your brain and you take any hormones, she's getting at least half of that physiologically, neurologically. So even though she didn't identify craniologically or emotionally as a man, she's still getting all your testosterone hormone replacements. Oh, How the fuck does that work? And how is this news? And... Please enlighten me on which part of absolutely fucking batshit I'm missing. Because <laughs> honestly, I think they were pretty special to begin with. Yeah, I mean, great points. Wow. Yeah. Um, do we, do we know? I mean, do we know if they were on hormone replacement stuff? Well, if they're get, well, I mean, I guess if one can identify as a man without going through all of the, you know. Came out as transgender, uh, 
I don't see anything in here, but yeah. Because if they were taking hormone stuff, it would obviously affect the one who you share your entire everything with. Yeah, yeah. because they would have to be taking testosterone, right? I would think so. And grow That's a beard. Wild. Does it have a beard? No. It? I he sorry. Holy think- fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> The most unwoke in the room. It's usually Heidi. I, 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 I am. Wow. That's why, we, that's why we get along so well. <laughs> J6 Gina. That's your new name. No. J6 Gina. No, because um, wait, what's, what's I, J6? January 6th. Just, like, just some kind oh, of, yeah. I get, I, yeah. I get, I have a hard time like with the, Making sure that I say like the he and the she. She's and go with it. Just make it the, it. <laughs> just generalize it with it. Did you see it. now there's a, 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 gender season so if you like like you go through the seasons like like in in summertime if i feel like a guy i'm gender fall season. winter spring it's trans ridiculous. yeah so if my bikini body is ready then i'll identify as a girl in the summer so i could wear my exactly. bikini but if i in didn't the quite get there where i was born <laughs> there were two souls in twine Join twins, the side so rare, both beautiful and kind. The whole town would whisper, amazed and perplexed, but behind their curiosity, a deeper truth was held. They lived each day connected at the chest, shared every heartbeat. Eternal quest, inseparable since birth. Their love was true. Inseparable since birth. But behind closed doors, the struggles they go through. Two sides of the same heart. Makes me want to kill myself right now. Two sides of the same heart. Forever bound. Where's the bell? That couldn't understand. They found their common ground. <laughs> Through all the stares and whispers, they stay strong. Now this story lives on in every song. On every song. <laughs> we should learn the two steps to that. Rest in peace, George. And what, what, what was the other one's name? Elaine. Whatever. Elaine. Lori. Lori. George, George and Lori. Lori. George and Lori, rest in peace. Thanks for the memories. What was yep. George's real name at birth? Good question. Let's see. Um, I'm sorry. I, AI, I, I'm so against it for music, but like, man, that really is great to just to be able to shit Lori that out. And, I George and George a successful career as a country singer. <laughs> according to Guinness Records, according to Guinness Records, while Lori was a trophy winning 10 pin bowler. Come on. No. There is no way. No. No. Hold which is on. the one? Which one is in the bucket? Which one's in the bucket? Lori's in the bucket, in the basket, and she's a ten-pin bowling champion. How? How? There has to be vi- video. Who pushes them? Does George like pull her chair, like whip it towards the lane, or how's it work? This is crazy. There's no wow. way. A trophy-winning ten-pin bowler. Are you sure that's that's what it says? I mean, this. <laughs> I'm reading it properly. Even if they were both able to walk. When you're stuck to your head like that, yeah, like how? No, that's just but how are you not like bashing your twin in the knee? Yeah, I'm. This is unless they're doing that ramp thing that like the the kids do. You know what? Maybe that's that's the only way I can. See that's it how happening. it. That's how it did it. That's how it did <laughs> that's it. How it did it. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to see what. This what is they're... how it did it. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it did it. <laughs> Anyway, rest in peace or whatever. Um, wow, uh, this is this podcast is quickly becoming just like a conjoined twin uh, yeah. show, and I'm kind of I'm fine with it. I think I'm okay with it. I'm here for conjoined it. form radio. I think I'm, we're gonna switch I've it up. I've been obsessed it since I was a little kid. Made just me not laugh. obsessed, but very like it's fascinating. Twins are just fascinating in general, and it's just like an egg that doesn't doesn't mm-hmm. con- disconnect. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys watching F- Fallout? I haven't started yet. Um, but I want to play the game first. Johnny watches it, and he is like the biggest Fallout fan. Like he has, he played the games. A, he, oh yes, from start to finish, like everything. Like his whole house is Fallout. Will you do me a favor? Oh, Will you ask right? him if I haven't started yet? I don't want to go back to shitty 
graphics. Mm-hmm. Ask him which is the latest one I can start with and not miss anything, please. Okay. All right. Please call him right now. Okay. No, don't, don't. Okay. Um, my <laughs> don't have to push that or anything, but I have a. I don't have to, but I might want to. <laughs> I have a friend that's in it, and I texted him yesterday, and I was like, "You are fucking kidding me." I sat down uh, to to watch one episode before work, or it was like, "No, oh, okay." I got up in the morning, I had some co- coffee, and I'm like, oh, "I'm just gonna check check yeah. it out," because he plays two parts, or he plays. Two parts. He's, he's, he's the actor that, and then he plays the ghoul. Okay. And uh, so he's kind of, I guess he's one of the, he's one of the main leads. All I know and, is that Walton Goggins looks cool. Is that him? Uh-huh, well, yeah, ah, yeah. He looks cool as shit. Yeah. I, I look, I got, I got ch- and chills and I sat down and I'm on, I was on episode six before, before I got you knew nothing it. done. <laughs> Not a That's fucking a perfect day. thing. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm cool with that. It is. Oh my gosh, it is so fucking good. I've never played that. Play the game. It How is many so good. It's so good. It's episodes so are good. there? Eight. Okay. I want I'll watch more. It. I want more. Yeah. Maybe I'll save it for. I'm going on tour soon, so maybe I'll save it for Europe. Yeah, dude, I mean, it is so good. But I texted him and I was like, "Are you kidding me right now? Like how? Like you? Like as the ghoul? You're like the coolest. Nice. The ghoulest." The ghoulist. Uh, uh, he's, he's coming in a couple of weeks. I hope I'll be here, but I, maybe I could talk him into coming on here. I don't know. He's busy all the time. So well, kind of you've you, you've yet now. to bring a guest, so that would I be know. a great first one. Please do, please do. I would love. I, I mean, I'm a huge fan yeah, of his. He's like me. Sons of Anarchy. I mean, he was. Uh, uh, oh wait, no, he's on the, the Shield. The Shield. The Shield. Yeah, know the who Shield. This guy is. You know Walton Goggins. I'm gonna pull him up. I don't think so. He. So he. Um, the, the way I met him was sound. I I waited on him, him and his little boy, his boy his little boy was t- tiny like a little ba- baby and now his kid's like, four, f- fifteen, um and he was just the sweetest he's just amazing. No, he's on right. Oh right, just yes, gem, yes, yes, gem, yes. Yeah. I do. He's fantastic. Yes, he's I do. Know. Really he great yes. character actor. Yeah. But this him in this show, uh, unbelievable. Like hmm. I'm so like. I'm I'm happy for him because this cool. is cool. You know how the re- show I was like that with was um oh fuck uh, apples. Oh, never apples never fall. fall. Oh yeah, so good. D- Dickless like, oh, is want- keep wanting gonna, to start gonna, that. Yeah, I'm just gonna start so it. So good. Are you the one that brought Donna, it up on the show? Yeah, you so. did, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. It was yeah. really good. Okay. Really good. Really, really good. I did like the other show that I think it was um. Written by the same people, the Big Little Lies or Little yeah. Big Lies or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I that was a good the one too. Season, I watched Immaculate last night. What's that? that? Oh, it's my girl Sydney Sweeney. Oh, oh. she's been she, all over the news lately, huh? Yeah, yeah well, yeah, because someone the producer called called her ug, ug no no it's called her a bad actress. Bad actress. Said she's a bad actor and or something. Wasn't pretty. And wasn't pretty. I mean, she's. She's, she's gorgeous, beautiful, yeah. But she's also she she's is a great, actress. pretty good actress. What um, is she in? I don't. I've never even heard. She of was her in Euph- you. Euphoria. Yeah. Um, well, what was she before that see. though? I don't know. She oh, she was in uh, uh, the show HBO, um, the cruise ship one, where like people the vacation one. Oh, oh help white, me! White, orc, uh, white Lotus. Orc, light, white, white Lotus. Oh, she was on yeah. White Lotus. That's right. That's right. Um, she was great, great in that. Program, she's that. done some rom coms, but she's in a new huh. one called Immaculate, where she's like a a nun. That oh, um, oh, yeah, yeah. leaves Detroit and goes to Italy to to join the the convent or whatever, hmm. and she I'd mysteriously never heard of her until you. Oh, I mean, I was just she's first beautiful. time I heard of her. <laughs> um, but she uh, she gets pregnant and, and they have no idea why she's pregnant or how she's pregnant. But it's like a horror movie, but it was pretty good. Oh, it was enjoyable. Okay. That that's my girl. I'm proud of her, um, you know. Can I talk about a horror film right right First, away? first I want to show you a shirt that she wore that I think I think you both appreciate it and you both could probably wear it. Uh-oh. Here we go. Read it. <laughs> Sorry Read it. for oh, having my God. I, Wait, what does it say on the bottom? Sorry for having great tits. No. Perf- oh, something and- Oh, and correct opinions. Yeah. Oh, and correct That's opinions. That's amazing. Sorry for having great tits. Oh, my girl. Oh, my God. I want that. That's hilarious. Oh. With the little girl jumping jump rope. <laughs> Pretty good stuff. Are we gonna, I mean, someone's going to say one. something. Can I just... I, it's it's further in, so it's not as awful. But the other... On Friday, <laughs> I had to go get my t- taxes done in Long Beach. Uh-huh. And on my way back, I'll just cut cut this. I'll do it really short. Great. Story if I can. Great. 
on my way back, I'm on the phone with my sister. My oh. sister, my sister, hate, like hates tra- traffic, like, and she mm. won't. What a weirdo! I love traffic, but no, not not hates tra- traffic. She she hates the interstate, and she lives in Wisconsin, and she will not get on the interstate. So she takes all the side side roads, and she's a real estate agent. So she has to go all, all the time. But yeah. She takes like these side roads. She gets like this this like anxiety anxiety. So I'm like taking foot photos of things like like stuck in tra- traffic oh, in God. LA co- coming back from Long Beach and she was like oh my god which I if you don't live here it's like a when you're in traffic from Long Beach to LA it's <laughs> it's like being in hell kind of I was having <laughs> 2 hours like, probably yeah like I was I thought I was going nuts a little bit cuz I was getting like dizzy and I was like oh my it was hot and I was like mm-hmm. fuck this I'm always, I'm always just like why aren't we moving yes yes, yes. and then all of a sudden it just opens up yeah like, what, you're like what, what happened was that? well uh, this so, one makes sense. Yeah. So, so the first set of tra- traffic, there was like a little like fender bender, and before that though, there was this this um, this graffiti that said "help" on it. So I took a picture of that and I sent it to her, and I go, "How crazy is that, right?" And we're still on the phone talking, talking. And she goes, "Oh my god, it says help!" And I'm like, "Can you ima- imagine?" So it was up on the overpass. So this is really it. This is I'm I'm prefacing this because it's. That's kind of eerie that I took that and that it was on the overpass and said help. Then all of a sudden, okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. All of a sudden, bam, stops. Complete dead stop. And I'm like, fuck. And I can see up ahead these cops come like, boo, boo. And then it's probably like eight, eight to nine cars up. And I'm like, I don't see an accident. But it's completely stopped. So you know how like cops kind of do do that thing yep. where they swerve, of um, course, to slow down traffic slow down behind traffic. them. Yeah. That's what I thought was happening, but we weren't mo- moving. I'm like, what are they doing up there? And then I see a C- CHP guy, like while on his bike, and I'm like, what is happening? There's, and then I see up on the overpass there are cop cars, ding, 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 and I was like, wait, did somebody jump? And my sister, oh was, hell no! And then my sister's like, no, 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 no. And I'm like, no. I'm like, that's crazy. And I'm looking around, and I'm like. Did somebody jump? Like that's, and then all oh of a sudden God. the traffic starts to go. Like the cops are like, okay, so we're like going into because I'm in the fast lane, so we're going. So there's eight eight cars, and as I'm going, I'm like, oh! And the guy, the CHP guy, was taking a sheet out of his car I'm and putting, putting it, it. Somebody fucking jumped oh off the bypass. My God! Into the fast lane. <laughs> if you're gonna jump, that's where you want to jump. You definitely want to jump in the over? fast lane. I don't know. There were no cars there, though. So did somebody like just like, and, like yeah, like, uh, maybe. Yeah. But also, he, he probably died from the jump, right? If yeah. he ran down his face you or his think, neck, because yeah. it wasn't. But it, but then I'm looking. I'm like, it's not that far up. But that's why you damn. always, if you're gonna do it, you want to go head first because you don't want to land on your ankles and then get hit by cars. I'm fuck. Yeah. It was five five o'clock on Friday night. Like. Oh my god! It's also a very, insane. very inconsiderate time to kill yourself. Exactly, I have There's to be, enough traffic. be real. That's like yeah. in Chicago when I'd be do wa- a Sunday for at one p.m. The, yeah, right. And in, in, in Chicago, I'd go up to like you know like the red line at at eight a.m. Wait, waiting to go to work, and all of a sudden we'd be like, "What the fuck is happening?" And and we'd look around and go, "No, did somebody jump?" Sure enough, somebody jumped, oh, and then god. we'd have to wait for hours. Isn't it funny that like. Oh, when that happens, that has it's so many people's worst day of their lives. The family gets gets the phone call about it, and it ruins their lives for months. And we're just like complaining about for fuck's sake. Now, to, now I'm so gonna awful. be twenty minutes late. I'm gonna be late. <laughs> God, like, a lot. just the th- the thought of like, oh, so it was crazy. And my sister was like, "Oh my God, you sent me that thing that said Help. that is that is mm-hmm. was it a promotion? Yep. I don't know. Wow, it sounds like it to me. Body. Well, how many you've seen a few bodies? Out in nature, yeah, yeah, not yeah, great. A couple, uh, dead, like dead bot, bot, bot bodies. Uh, I've seen pe- people get hit, hit by cars. <laughs> <laughs> so why? Gina got a first hand. Oh, Gina right. got such a good oh, view of a right. kid being hit by a oh, car. That's a horrible story. <laughs> that story. I think about that. Gina, story all the holy time. shit, Gina. <laughs> all the time, I think about that. If story, anyone is so forgets. Gina actually did a run down a child with her car. Thank God for um, that ring camera. Yeah. yeah. No, Gina unfortunately did hit. She hit a kid with her car. I did. And it, it could have, it really could have been tragic. But he's 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 okay. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. I'm assuming. I don't know. Yeah. Right. Well, it's been a while, right? 
Yeah, it's okay. been like four or five years, but I don't like I don't have any contact. You, you they don't just see him on Christmas or anything. No, but yeah. but so I have to drive down that street all the time. Oh. And I forced myself to do it because in the beginning I was like avoiding it. And of I'm like, course. no, I mean, like, so traumatizing. it's literally right by my house. So I'm like, I have to, I have to force myself. So I will, I drive there all the time. So just this last, <laughs> just this last Christmas. Um, or no, it wasn't Christmas, it was Halloween. You know, people have those big blow up um things in their yard. Yeah. So <laughs> you just kept running them in down in front of his house. And I even made my mom drive by it too, because I'm like, am I tripping? Like maybe I'm just making this Wait, up. was his was it in front of his house that you hit, hit him? Or yeah. was that was my oh. question too. I didn't know that you I thought oh, it was in I front thought of he school. was like running to So get there's some- an elementary school across the street from his house. So his house was here. And his elementary school is here. Oh, so literally, so like, the chances of him getting hurt, like it's just, it's so such a quick walk to his school. Yeah, but it was after his commute school, is eight he seconds. Was, he was running across the yeah. street to get to, to grab his, his game friend. Boy or oh, I know, we've seen boy. the video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're laughing, but it's really not funny. But it's, it is, we gotta laugh. I about have it. to laugh. Yeah. About it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I drove by there, and they had this big blow up. Skeleton in a wheelchair. Stop it. You have to stop, stop. it. Gina, get out of here. You can't. Did we you can't. take a picture? No. Oh my God. Did like, you drive into it? You know why? <laughs> because I'm afraid that they like would know that it's me. <laughs> like, of course. Oh, and here this bitch is back and she's taking a picture. Like, oh, is she in a wheelchair? I don't know because <gasps> he broke both his legs. Both well, his you ankles. broke both of it. Let's be clear. I, you broke his legs. I broke both of his legs. <laughs> Both of his ankles, oh. um, both shoulders, and he had to have like facial reconstruction because his face went through my windshield. So I don't know. I know in the beginning right. when he Z- was Ziggy, stay there and she won't hurt you. He had, to, <laughs> he had to have, you know, the craziest thing when I was 19 years old, I hit a dog on that same street, like about mm, 20 yards from where I hit him. Oh my God. And right at the corner of that same street is the first place I ever was in an accident. I got hit. I got rear-ended. Okay. Oh my what God. The, what's 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 the street called? Maybe, maybe it's don't, called don't go down. Coal Road. <laughs> like C O A L C O L E. Can I pick Ziggy up? No. No. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. I was gonna put her, put him on my put him on my lap, but no. It's okay. Like cool. That, yeah. uh, that's crazy. That's really yeah. really crazy. Wow. So I made my mom drive by because I was like. Did they, did they what really if he's in a that? wheelchair? Oh. I don't know. But I just know that they, I mean, we've talked about it on here, that they his family has tried to sue me multiple times from multiple for multiple different things. And I'm a, I, 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 no, an accident, it's just yeah. an accident sometimes. Yep. Like, yeah. you're not under the influence. You weren't speeding. It's just I like, think I'm, what really got it is when he lied, when he because he tried to sue on behalf of his other children because I guess if there's like a traumatic accident and you have children that witnessed it under 18 you can sue on behalf of them but he lied and said that he had like four kids there and there was only three kids there and but it wasn't oh. it wasn't um I mean the kid ran in front of my car there was literally I have to say like would if, have not been nothing I could have if done if someone hit my brother sister nephew Nicholas a friend yeah, of course you want to you want to you got to be mad at something or somebody yeah, of course but at some point you have to be like okay this person you suffered over it yeah <laughs> I, I mean i'm sure when you're actually thinking about it it's, oh, yeah. it's hard no, to really yeah. think about i mean not right. the same way but he did but yeah of course like, of course like your legs to, are fine your ankles are fine your shoulders the, are fine i mean i don't have one news app on my phone to this day right because it's crazy to see mm-hmm your own name and your picture come up on the news like that. Heidi knows. Like, yeah. And then your phone and your email and everything's just being blown up by like all my coworkers. Like, oh my God, I saw you on the news. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. Okay, and cool. then they Thanks just up. re-show that ring video over and over and over It's and so over. weird that, like, that people would be like, I saw you on the news. Like usually you do that when something cool happens. Yeah. It's like, oh, like, oh, yep. you got an award. Saw that. Like, yep. oh, you almost killed a kid. Saw yeah. you on the news. That's and they were, great. everybody was like, oh my God, you were driving so fast. And I'm like, the fucking video <laughs> was like in double time. Yeah, I yeah, wasn't yeah. Of course. driving that oh fast. God. Of course. So yeah, it was, good stuff. We were t- talk, talking about that the other night at work because at work we had that 
the the scandal thing that ha- happened last summer with mm. the cats or the yeah. dogs. Gus, Which cats? I don't believe it. Dogs? Anyhow, I think it was fake. But anyhow, I think she. Because at first you were all you were all right in here. on it. Well, I was like, that's hor- it's horrible, blah blah blah. And now I think that I I don't know. I allegedly allegedly it, it that's key. That's key. Yeah. You know, allegedly we do, we don't know what happened, but they're they're gone out of the restaurant. But we were t- talking about because there was a girl that came in and a girl that I work with said, oh, that girl right there, she's a friend of a friend who never gets back to me on the phone, like never like says hi, hi to me outside of here. But as soon as that happened, had called me and texted me and said, hey, hi, how's it going? Um, So I have a friend that works at, at People and wanted to know if they could do an article about, so what's going, and instead of saying, wow, that really sucks, yeah. you guys must not, I mean, well, I bet business is not yeah. so good or, you yeah. know, I hope you guys are OK. Mm-hmm. Instead, they wanted to write about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mo- monetize on your like pain or, you know, mm-hmm. it's embar- embarrassing, too. And it's like, oh, like people are pieces yeah. of shit. Yeah. Yep. I'll say that much. Yep. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> you guys want to talk about pornography or what? All right. Um, I do. If you so. um, do you uh, do you partake in pornography? No. no. You don't watch? No. OK. Not yeah, I I feel like it's like very like um awesome underage stuff eh? like very what? like the whole uh sure. like my stepsister and my like it's just I don't know <laughs> like there's no it's funny, it's so funny you just said step because like I got into a conversation the other night about like um about p- porn and um uh my big thing right now is <laughs> stepmom and stepson that for some reason are sharing a hotel together and all in every one of these videos every single one they get into the room it's like oh no there's only one bed <laughs> it's okay oh, just you stay on this How side this i'll stay on this side and then like the stepmom always goes to bed naked for right. some reason <laughs> yeah and she's like just don't she look must, okay she, it's menopause of course of course <laughs> And the, it all the, goes around the, the script. Menopause. The script every time is like she has to sleep naked or her butt sticking out of like her whatever, and the kids like, so like, mom, oh, it's like, hey, stepmom. They always call her stepmom because <laughs> they used to call oh, your mom, really call- but but now you, I think legally you can't you can't infer incest. So he's like, hey, stepmom, um, and this is like a forty year old man. He goes. I just I can't sleep or whatever. Okay, stepson. And and she's like, just try to go to sleep. I'm trying to sleep. He goes, but and then like he starts like playing with his dick, and she always rolls over and sees, what are you doing? And he's like, I can't sleep. She goes, okay, just let me help you with that a little bit. And she just like stroking oh off her stepson. I love it. <laughs> I love oh it God. so so very much. But that's that's the lane I'm in right now, and I just wanted to share it because it makes me feel better about myself. Okay. Okay, you guys yeah. cool with that? Yeah, yeah. I was telling uh, a guy I work with last night. They were ta- talking about jump, jump, jumbos, and how oh, I yeah. first oh, moved here. Jumbo's like that was my room. favorite. Explain place. what jumbos clown room is for people it that don't is know. A strip club that it used to be a little c- seedy. I don't know if it is anymore though, because everyone goes. It's kind there. of burlesque. It's not like yeah. you're not even ever fully yeah. topless. I don't no. think. No, and it's like they like they it's put like on pasties shows. And stuff. Yeah. yeah, like there was one girl that had um. Uh, she danced to Blondie hang, hanging on the tel- telephone, and she came out with like a a phone cord. Oh, and like doing a whole dance with the whole cord around her body. And I was like, this is amazing. Oh, and I used okay. to live in I back, didn't... like like in back. And mm-hmm. I was telling the guy that I that I work with, I'm like, there there's a place in Atlanta. This strip club. Then every time we tour and be on tour with bigger, they bands, pop off. That's in a lot Atlanta. of yeah. There's a lot of them in Atlanta. There's I one that's famous and i forget the name and there's uh an an old if i told you would you know yes an old black stripper named goldie she had her gold teeth and she's fucking amazing and the place was like like i told him i said i want my strip clubs to be where the floor is sticky where there could or could not be some human tra- trafficking that's going on in the back, but yeah. like you know, yeah. Yeah. Nothing, 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 Cheetah nothing, Lounge, nothing. Allure Gentlemen's Club, uh, no, any of those? Fa- famous, like all, I'm doing all, popular. All the rock rock bands go. Gentlemen's go Club, there. Allure Gentlemen, Magic City, Magic City, maybe. Okay. Wait, no, 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 that's not um, Magic City. Uh, uh, Onyx Gentlemen's Club, XTC, Peaches of Atlanta, Blue Flame, I don't have my Platinum. Phone. 
Tattletail, Gold Rush, <laughs> Diamond Club, <laughs> Maybe it was gold Rain, rush. Clermont Lounge, I mean, when you guys Hunkamania, there, when, when, Ace of Clubs, when you guys Club there, Wax, on, Gold when, Club, when you guys are King there, of Diamonds. <laughs> listen, when you guys are there, do you go to any of these clubs? No. And, I, I have... I, when I tell you I have no interest in strip clubs. Yeah, I don't anymore, but... Because one time I went to a strip club, maybe it was affiliated, maybe Atlanta, with Dave Navarro and Tommy Lee. I walked in oh there Lord. with those guys, and I, I've said this before, I have never felt more invisible in my... I could have <laughs> I could have robbed that place fucking blind. It's fucking Dave Navarro. Tommy Lee, who... I mean, girls, 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 is the, the fucking f- song. Yeah. Yeah. So when like when they walk in, it's like it's like strip club royalty. Yeah. Um. I, I literally like, no one said a fucking word to me. It oh was just God. like eighty girls on them, and then me with like like the the manager or some shit, <laughs> <laughs> just drinking coke and just, just like the bar back. Like, wow. can I get you a soda? <laughs> I just I saw no titties, just bare backs because they're all facing the dudes. But that's how yeah, I, I felt. Don't, I don't care about strip clubs, really. That's how I felt when I went to Guns N' Roses with uh, oh, yeah, yeah. with Carmen Electra. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. And of course. Like, and and everyone's like, "Is that her manager? Like, who is that? Uh, <laughs> is that is that Guns N' Roses? Is her handler? Roses man- yeah. I'm like, well, I just can't really be like great. a friend. <laughs> right, right. Of course, of course. Um, yeah, I don't really, I don't care for them. I've never had a lap dance in my life. Oh, well, that sounds pretty fun, though. Kind of. Do you guys get lap dances when you go? I did when I, I went. Had, I well, you danced. You danced. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, me too. You yeah, did? but a lot of people, yeah. like, she was a, dancer. a lot of people pay, like, a lot of um, customers will pay to have somebody dance for you. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, here. They're oh, really? Our, like, they'll buy. Like, if yeah, we're both, birthday, if we're both dancers like, yeah. Yeah. and you're the customer, you would pay her to dance for me. So you Oh, for the, for the other dancer, mm-hmm. for the other stripper. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. But we um, both get paid. What is the what is the worst thing that can ha- happens during a, a lap dance? Did you give lap dances? Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, do you have to give lap dances? Is that part of the deal, or that's just where you make most of your money? Oh, where you make, I, I mean, that's where where I, I made it, a lot it, of it money. It depends. Yeah. It depends where you work because it depends how many girls are on the roster for that night. Um, how many girls are going to go on, how many times you're going to go on stage, how good of a dancer you are on stage, because that is definitely going to play into how much money you make. In a busy night, how many times do you go up on stage in a busy night? Like on a Friday night, maybe four times. Okay. Different songs each time. You pick your songs. And do you do, do you do different things to each song, like different dances? It depends how good of a dancer you are. And are you winging it, or do you have like a routine that you kind of do? No, no I never. It. No, I yeah, you just wing it. I Five, love six, to six, seven, eight. <laughs> yeah, it's not like choreographed. <laughs> Schlemiel, <laughs> schlamazel. <laughs> no, I just um, I love to dance, and so it just kind of was something that came like kind of I don't want to say like stripping came natural, but like the dancing part of it was very easy to pick up on for mm-hmm. me. Um, and it really bothered me to go to a strip club that could see strippers. Like, I don't like watching strippers that don't know how to dance. Mm -hmm. Sure. I mean, we're talking about, you're talking about jumbos. Do do you have more of the jumbo story? You have more of that, right? Uh, I I probably, I forgot. What the hell were we talking about? It was a good, I like jumbos a lot, but we got derailed here. I don't remember. Because I was going to say, I went to jumbos once because you're talking about strippers that can't dance. Mm -hmm. And I used to go there in the early 2000s to jumbos. Mm -hmm. And there was a girl that would dance there, and we we all called her the thing because she had like no grace, no rhythm, but she was mesmerizing because she was like very tall and like uh she was very uh like a menacing figure. Yes, mm-hmm. I um, remember her. But you do, yeah, because she, she had a whip or something, yeah, and she she would she would dance dance to uh um the t- Talking Heads. Uh, she she did a, a routine to burn burning down down the house. One okay. was just like, what the fuck? Just well, because I saw her, I saw someone amazing. in the crowd light a cigarette and put it on stage, and she picked it up with her vag. Oh yeah, and she took a puff of it with her vagina. Like, yeah, smoke those. Came out. Ca- yeah, those are like a jumbo crazy a jumbos. Yeah, I never those. Saw that. Yeah, she pulled it to the side, and she didn't like show her stuff, but she we saw her take a puff of it. And then another time, someone, uh, you know, you throw dollars on stage. You, mm-hmm. Someone threw a handful of change. Oh yeah. And she 
jumped in the crowd mm -hmm. and beat the fuck out of this dude. It was so great. People and do, we all cheered. Like like if there's somebody that they don't like on stage or that they consider because I'm telling you, like so many people are like, oh, I'm too fat to be a stripper. Oh, I'm too this. I'm too. I'm like, no, there's something for everybody. This is the thing. Everybody, like you would be shocked at the people that make money, but people used to take um, silver dollars, uh, light them on, like put a, a flame under them, like light a yeah a lighter, yeah, and then throw them. And yeah, there were girls that used to come off with welts, like. So those guys get kicked out and get their asses kicked or what? Oh, yeah. They okay, get good. removed. Or they'll take like a dollar bill yeah. and they'll roll a quarter up in it oh. and then just like chuck it at you. Do oh, you in your happens. experience, like are are the majority of people respectful, disrespectful, or kind of 50-50? Um, I only had respectful mm. people, but I was That's young good. too and I was... No, they You were doing burlesque? Is that what you were doing? No, or I, was, just... I was a stripper. No, I danced. You did topless? Yeah. I was a stripper in Madison, Wisconsin. I think I forgot that you were, were you fully nude or topless? No, just topless. Were you fully nude or topless? No, only topless. Okay. Yeah. No, they, wow. there's, I mean, yeah, no, there's rude people out here. Okay, of course. <laughs> yeah. And what's the worst, like, what's anything bad ever happened during a lap dance? Like, what's the worst thing that can happen? To, well, obviously, you can be assaulted, but like, what's. Uh, yeah. Um, at what point are you like, what the fuck are you doing, man? There was um, way, way back when I first started dancing, there was um, a guy who was wearing a pair of shorts with no underwear. Oh. Like uh, like uh, gym shorts? Mm-hmm. So it says, yeah, okay. And he all over. Okay. Ugh. And it got on the back of my leg. Oh. I ran. Oh. I ran. And at the time, the... Like to get to the back to the changing room area, the bartender had to push a button. So just so like the right. customers could sure, walk back sure. there. And I was beating on the door and I was like telling her, like, open the door, open the door, open the door. And I went back there and I ran into the office and I grabbed like this huge bottle of rubbing alcohol <laughs> and I just started pouring it on my leg. And like I was trying to tell my manager what happened. And so he was just like, I'm oh. so sorry. But they're allowed to you, you're allowed to come in your pants, right? Like is it uh no, that's usually not. <laughs> yeah, that's but, not but it, allowed. What do you I what, mean, but what do you mean? Not all over the place. I mean No, but can... it shouldn't come out on you. But if a guy, if you're dancing on a guy, aren't you're not trying to get him to that? Uh, no, <laughs> no, I don't know no. shit. I thought that was kind of the point where that's we no. get like a crazy tip for if you do that. I thought no. no, okay, no. But we did have this guy that used to come in all the time when I worked at that club, and he would pay girls fifty dollars to fart on him. Wow, you have to muster one up, dude. There, I'm telling you, there were girls. fifty per or fifty just fifty dollars per fart. That's pretty and good there money. Were girls that were like, okay, let's go. To, someone make a Taco Bell run, like. <laughs> Did what? you do it? Everybody, Did you? Oh, okay. uh, uh, I was like, <laughs> wait, Did, where, where was this club? Like what, like what, uh, was it, was Norwalk. It, was it wow. Yeah. Yeah. Norwalk. Well, and now look Did, and now wait, like how, like how long ago was this? Um, late nineties, early two thousands. So before, like before I knew you, like yeah. before I knew you. And so now look, there's only fans. There's all those things yeah. where now all these guys can uh -huh. like. Yep. Send for a, vi a vial of yeah, and it's and, and people used to come in for <laughs> like yeah and people gotta re up my fart vials. People yeah. would come in for like like there was the like the girl there, her name was Trisha. She was probably when I was in my early twenties, she was probably close to fifty. But she was like she had been there for years and everybody loved her and she was like the it one. And she would have this guy come in. One of our customers would come in every Friday night and she would walk him around the club on a leash. He would wear a leash. She would walk him around and then she would like whip him with the leash and he would lick her boots. And they did that for like three or four hours. And she would just, I couldn't even tell you how much money she made. Yeah. She, and, have she ended up. Kinks. It's so interesting. But here's the thing. And this is what I always tell people, like, especially when just because I, I just used to work at a strip club a couple of years ago bartending and stuff and I would see all these new girls come in and they would just you could tell just by the look on their eyes like oh my god like they get a little taste of that money and it's like oh my god and I would tell them whatever you do do not quit whatever job you have now because you cannot do this forever take your money 
and do something with it. Yep. Put it away. This girl, Trisha, that I was talking about, she bought an entire condominium complex. And the fifth, the one who the yes. leash, the leash girl. Yes. So when she retired, she owned a whole building that she is now, I'm sure, retired. <laughs> she, uh, fuck, I don't even know if she's alive anymore. Yeah. But, but she was very smart with her money. But I've seen so many girls that come in that don't drink, don't do drugs, don't this, don't that. And within a year's time, they are passed out unconscious yeah, str- on the floor out, and just yeah. strung out on God knows what. Why like, do you think that is? Because they, it's it's the lifestyle. It's just it's a certain. It's just you get and and I feel like I'm numb to a lot of that. Like it makes you very numb to this stuff. And when you talk about it to people, to me, it's not a big deal. But other people, they're like, wait, what? <laughs> they did what? Like people put these you know, a lot of these strippers or dancers or whatever on this pedestal. And it's like, if you would only see what happens like in, in the back room, like in the dressing room and stuff like that, like these girls are peeing and shitting and trash cans. Cause they're too lazy to go to the bathroom. They're just like, it's, it's just, it's, ugh, now, it's does that kind of stuff, does that fall on the, the club managers or does that like, what, why, how do you, if you were to open a club, mm-hmm. if you own a club, mm-hmm. How would you keep that from happening? Like, what would you? How? What would you? If you it's made a club, how would I mean, it be run? I mean, it's hard to keep all that stuff out of places like that because it's just, you know, if you, I mean, there's so many. I mean, I haven't been to like out towards on Valley Boulevard off of the sixty. There is literally door to door clubs for miles, mm. and it's just. I mean, God only knows what happens back there. Like you just, it's not just dancing that's going on. And a lot of people don't realize that that stuff takes place. That's how these girls make their money. Well, they must know that. I think people people do know that. I actually feel really bad what I just said about how, how I like it seedy. Cause I, I meant like back in the day in the nineties, a strip different. club is, mm-hmm. is, was, was different. And so when I mean seed, CD in the nineties is different now. And oh, so yeah. well, when I, like, like when rock I clubs. said, like rock clubs. yeah, when mm-hmm. I, when I, when I said human tra- trafficky, I, I meant like it's seedy. But now, when I said that now, now, now I'm thinking there actually is sex tra- trafficking in human I, tra- mm-hmm. tra- I don't think trafficking. No one took, I don't, okay. no one took okay. it as like you like, want yeah. human trafficking. I meant like you back took it like in the, what makes some like, of those things fun. I think is that like you, anything could happen. Like, yeah. this is like but you it's don't know now. I guess if you turn look over here, you never know what you're gonna see. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. like that, it's good or bad. Yeah. But if you're whatever. Turns you on. Don't yeah. feel bad about it. It's, well, it's some different things. now, though. It's different now. And I, I had a friend who worked as a stripper. She was in Detroit, and she was at all like the Nine Inch Nail shows. And she was she was mar- married to this guy, and she was probably like forty five, I think. And she did the same thing. She bought two homes. She bought all this land. She bought all the. So smart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got to be smart with your money. So smart. And then she, I think she retired, retired, but she, she stripped her whole life and people made fun, fun of her kind of, kind of like, oh, please. But I put myself made, through pharmacy school. Like I, that's the thing. Know, I'm, all, like, I'm all for it. I, yeah. It's just, I don't, it has such a negative connotation it to it. No, but it really does. Because and some people why? do get themselves in those, yeah. those situations because it's like, if there's a guy that's saying, Hey, meet me after work. Mm-hmm. And come to my house and I'll pay you 500 bucks for yeah. the night or whatever. If you're young or inexperienced and you need the money or you have a drug problem or you're drinking mm-hmm. a lot, those things look, oh, especially if you live in L.A., yeah. New York, all these in Not Chicago. Anywhere. But I mean, like, anywhere. yeah, but it's expensive here. If you can't pay your fucking rent and you're living in a yeah. con- like, well, a, like a condo here for four grand, five bucks. But even if you live in Ohio, if someone offers you 200 bucks, 300 bucks, it's still, right. there's half my rent or whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it gets to that point and there's these girls just, they, they do that. But then it, it ends up, it's tragic because it's like, you yeah. see them and they're, they're, there's, especially they're out if and, you don't, if you don't work at a club that is, uh, like we always got walked to our cars afterwards. We weren't allowed to leave the building until the parking lot was clear. There that's the kind of stuff I'm saying. Like that's there's pro- different pr- protocols that different yeah. clubs have to yeah. make we you had, guys feel. We had to be walked out by a bouncer and stuff like that. Um, but the club that I worked at just recently, um, the whole staff was allowed to drink. Hmm. And so to Oof. me, it was Even like security. Yeah. And that was one of the reasons why I had to leave is because during COVID, like 
all, you know, in Orange County, everything was open. Everything was shut down in L.A. I was working in Orange County. So was it just slammed in there so or what? all, like, literally everybody from L.A., everybody from Orange County, every it was insane. Like, I have never, ever in my life... <laughs> Did all the Made dancers go there as money. well? Yes. Did, wow. It was crazy. And we couldn't even be inside. We were in the parking lot in a fenced off area in the parking lot. Wait, girls were dancing in the parking lot? Yes. It was insane. They couldn't, oh, because you couldn't be inside because there were so many people. No, we couldn't be inside because you couldn't have businesses going inside. We had to, you know, the outdoor patio <laughs> thing. <laughs> girls shaking titties on the sidewalk? Yes. Oh so we Holy were literally shit. on the street. And it was like fenced off, like you couldn't see it from the street, but obviously behind the fence, like this is what's going on. Mm -hmm. And at that time, that's when everybody was collecting unemployment. They had money they didn't know what to fucking do with. Yeah, it felt like free money. Watch fall Fallout, you guys, because this all is very, what they say in there is very r reminiscent to what ha happens after the atomic bomb hit and how people sort of make up these rules that's mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. that like every you know I've, we basically made, made up these rules oh yeah so now you 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 can pull pull up and order a margarita and oh yeah take it home oh, yeah, all of a sudden you can yes. drink outside it's like what? I, I was no, like you could take you it can in your I know. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. what because like, right. i was bartending at the time and yeah we would have people come in and order yeah you know oh yeah can i get uh four rum and cokes to go yeah it was like, like the wild wild west huh? here i believe yeah. like you know what i mean we Which, all became texas for yeah. a minute <laughs> i was i mean nuts. it was kind of cool actually i'm like yeah. okay i didn't mind it but yeah, yeah it was still but it was. whatever i mean i did very well you know during that time i made a lot of money i i did really really well and then it just became not safe anymore i mean um, i really am all for if if, wow. if anyone but like uh if women can make a living with their bodies and dancing or, or even prostitution, go for it. If it's we, safe go, and you're comfortable with it, go for it. Um, the place that I worked at was, this was so long ago. I was, it was so long ago, but we had sort of like a, um, she was like a, not a den mother, but she was like house a house mom. Yeah. Like a house mom yeah. that, that was in the back. And she was a, she wasn't that old now that I think about it. She's mm -hmm. like younger than me now. Yeah. <laughs> like, yep. but she took care of everybody. Yeah. My buddy and made sure like everybody was safe and yeah, you know, so we had that. How long did you dance for, Heidi? Not that long, maybe like six months. Five, did you do lap months. dances? Uh, I, I don't remember. Maybe one, maybe one. Okay. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm actually a, a really good dancer. I can believe that. So I loved it. You're athletic. You're a tennis player. I mean, I get it. But I, I have, you know, I even had a rhythm. pole. I had a pole in my bedroom forever. To practice or to do shows for, or no, just to fuck around good, with, or it's, good, it's good exercise. Good exercise. Too. I took yeah. pole classes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I just so, loved it. Yeah, wow. it was, it's good. Yeah, I just wanted to it's fun. try yeah. it. Mm -hmm. how, well, I'm sorry, how, you, how long did you do it for again? Like six months. Okay, and why did you stop? It just, you, it filled whatever you were trying to figure out? and. Yeah, I just didn't, I don't, uh, what did I do? Oh, I joined, I think I joined the band. Did anyone ever come see you that you knew that uh -huh. you didn't expect? What about I you, Gina? I don't think so. Anyone ever walk in where you're like, oh yeah. yeah. Please tell something. Yeah. Like, how's that go? Um, that's one of the reasons why I had to start working out in Orange County. Sure. Is because um, my day job, I, you know, work, <laughs> you know, and um, yeah, a teacher came in. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. And I wasn't a guy. I, uh huh. Uh huh. I had awkward just, for both of you. I by had the way. It, exactly. Like, I don't know who it was worse for him or me. Um, but I walked in, I was just starting my shift and I was bartending at the time. And so I just walked in and I was at that damn door where you got to wait for somebody to buzz you in. And I was like, door, door. <laughs> and I turned around and the VIP area was right there. And we like locked eyes and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. He was completely plastered out of his mind and ended up like 10, 15 minutes later, ended up getting thrown out because okay. he was getting a little too grabby. Um, oh god! But yeah, the next day at work, like ever since then, he never made eye contact with me. So you guys, there was never any like never. Hey, I, I know your thing. You know my nope. thing. Nope. It was kind of unspoken or just. Well, I think he probably felt like an idiot because he got kicked out. Because mm -hmm. I you... mean, if you're just there to have a good time and party, whatever, okay, do your thing. Yes, don't be an ass. Don't be an ass about it. 
Did you like him before? Did, did you like him as a coworker? Um, yeah, he was actually like a teacher there when I went to high school there. So he was much, much older than me. Um, but he. Oh, that makes it even weirder for him. Yeah. Because he knew you when you were in high school. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he was friends with my mom because my mom worked oh, there too. So, did you happen to hear our episode where we talked about the uh, OnlyFans chick whose son films her content? I did. What are your thoughts on that? I, I, I don't think it's a good thing. <laughs> okay, I think we're all in agreement here. I don't think it's a good thing. Wild I, stuff. Yeah, I couldn't. Uh, I mean, there's nobody else. You don't know anybody else to do that. I mean, right, a like neighbor she's or making like so much money. A girlfriend. Like, pay, pay somebody. Pay somebody to That's do the yeah. thing. Content. That's the thing. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. Fucking crazy. It is. Um. All right, guys. You know what? I think we've, uh, I think we've done good. Yeah. We've done good. Any uh, closing remarks? Um. Wasn't no. I clown the back? Let's go line dancing. Who? All of us. I'm yeah. not going. Why? I don't do that. I dancing. Um. When I. I would. I don't like to dance. When I see people doing it, I think they look ridiculous. Um, what? <laughs> I, it bothers me. When Did you dance, see me get flipped upside down? Yeah, you looked ridiculous. <laughs> like I, I had my my last girlfriend and uh, one of my other friends. They're both like goth dancers, and the, the, you know the goth dance. You know the one that dude, dude, that shit. Oh. The, you're nailing it. I mean, you're you're in the scene. Well, yeah, it's all that, I was in a, I was in a, it, it's, a, a yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it, it fills me with so much douche chills. Yeah, I can't you smell deal the, with you it. Smell the what's that? The um, the cloves, the cloves? The fucking <laughs> and the goth cloves. No, but when uh, dancing makes me so uncomfortable. It's also it's a beautiful way to express yourself. Yeah, people think, get a lot from it. It's exercise. Yeah, it's it's, it's it really fun. is a great I think thing. That's weird though, like being in the I music know. scene that you think that that's. Do you have an idea how much I judge people in the crowd who are dancing? <laughs> I'm not going to say where, but on this last Porno for Pyros tour, <laughs> there was someone. I'm like, okay, it wasn't me. I didn't go. Wait, like, was it wasn't me. <laughs> there, there was someone that was in the front row. This guy was just on a different level. Um. I, I can't explain. Have, we have videos of it. I'll show you videos of it. But we were like getting on our radios being like, look at this fucking dude down uh, here. Just so you know, when you're dancing, the crew is on, on radio judging you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. But we're also complimenting people. You know, people do cool shit. But uh, yeah, dancing, it bothers me so much. Hmm. And that's my problem. It's not anyone else's. It's, this is my issue. Um, so no, I will not be going line dancing. Okay, well then I'll just take your wife. Then. Please do. No, she and she's we a great did. dancer. I know. We danced I mean, she, together. I know. I know. Ago. You guys we went to a to cowboy bar. I want to go. Yeah, um, you need to come with us. We had so a blast. funny. Uh, please uh, listen to Gina's podcast, Fifty States of Madness. You can watch it on YouTube. I believe it's youtubecom slash Fifty States of Madness. That's right. Um, you can find it anywhere you get your podcasts. You can also sign up for their Patreon. Yep. Patreon.com slash Fifty States of Madness. Yep. Um, you and your partner, partner Shannon, are just so fun to watch. So hilarious. You guys do good research. You yeah. do a good show, and a lot I'm, of it's been yeah. really nice to see you guys. I know. Just kind of take off. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited to where how far we've come. And you're doing a lot of haunting, hauntings type stuff coming. Yeah, up. lately we did like a three part series just about haunted places. Uh, mm -hmm. This Thursday we have the. Lizzie Borden episode coming out. So. Ooh, that's she's from my neck of the woods. Yeah, she Fall is. Fall River, Massachusetts. That's right. Do you, do you remember the rhyme? What do you, what do you, yeah. But it doesn't, well, that's what we talked about. Like it Lizzie does, Borden it's took an true. axe, gave her mother 40 wax. When she saw what she had done, she gave her father 41. But that's wrong. She didn't. What do you mean? She didn't give anybody 40 wax or 41. How many did she give? Allegedly. 18. Oh. Yeah, but it's, it's 18 doesn't rhyme with anything, you know? I know, but... Get it right. Um, when you go to like a, a a haunted place, can I come with you guys? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know the Cecil Hotel's for sale, what? right? Oh, I sent you that link, right? The Cecil Hotel is for sale. We should turn it into Fifty States of Rare Form Studios. <gasps> you know how cool would that be? You know what else is for sale? What? Chris Watts' house. Oh shit. Okay, I need to get on this. This. You know what else is for sale? Thing. This ass. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me up, folks. You pound this thing for a hundred bucks. All right. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Come on now. <laughs> so speaking of axes, uh, in my hometown, across the street from me was a family called the Cluley family. 
C L E W L E Y. Cleary okay. and Cluley. Wow. So the son that. of uh, the son in that family, his parents were watching TV, sitting on the couch, and he walked behind them oh, no. and attacked them both with an axe. <gasps> Can we get him on our podcast? No, he can't speak. Oh. Um, so <laughs> he didn't, he hit his mom. Oh, Can he, he type? He, he hurt his mom pretty bad, but she was fine. She lived? He, she, she lived. Oh. And, but he put it, he paralyzed his dad. He, he hit his dad oh, in, the, so they both in the spine. Lied. They both lived. Fuck. His dad was in a wheelchair. The kid did not go to jail. He was, what? he was found, uh, guilt, insane. not insane. So instead they gave him a lobotomy back when they were doing lobotomies. So. I don't know if I, if I can show this. At the same time, I can't wait to see, see that. But was, would, what was, year was this? He would walk around the town like this. <gasps> wow. So this is a, he did this in the maybe 70s or 80s, but okay. everyone thought that it was a Cleary family. So every time, oh, 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 shit. once a year in school, people were like, so like, who in your family killed, <gasps> someone attacked your parents? I'm like, oh, no, that's fucking my the Cluleys. It's not me. And how old was he when he did this? I think he was a teenager. Oh my but god. But he was like, if you walk out my front door, like he was that was the house right there. So it was right across the street. So he we would see him all the time. My, my mom would always be like, Oh my god. Just stay away from the curved arm guy. Just like across the street. Lobotomy back then. Wow. Yeah, they, they stopped in the I think that stopped in the eighties, right? Seventies yeah. or eighties. Uh, but yeah, he had well, a full lobotomy so he couldn't be violent. I, I don't I don't think he could, he could even speak. Wow. I wonder if they castrated him. Probably. Why? Why well, you'd have to? Yeah, it's Would you want that like guy they're... reproducing? But I don't or think. Like he, but I don't think he. I don't think Do he can. Like... He can't function. I don't think he can even like have sex or even forceful or even even consensual. So when you have a lobotomy, uh, did, what what exactly do they do? They take they out remove your brain? like a part of your brain. Your br- yeah. Part of your brain. Your frontal. Yeah, lobe. Yeah, they like drill like a hole in your head. It goes like right yeah. here. Right? Well, that's, yeah. That's, that's, that's Siri. What is a lobotomy? Here's what I found. Fucking say it, bitch. Sorry, I didn't mean to call her bitch. I'm sorry. A lobotomy or leucotomy is a discredited form of neurosurgical treatment for a psychiatric disorder or a neurological disorder that involves severing connections in the brain's prefrontal cortex. I mean, usually it was for like violent behavior, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, they would do. They did that a lot in like a lot of the old asylums that's it makes you dumb it just like you're, so it make, many you're just people a, had lobotomies back then. you're just like an empty vessel yeah, walking nothing. around mm-hmm. yeah you're you're I've, yeah you're empty i've you're met gone. a lot of those people i think yeah <laughs> i bet <laughs> the, the, your whole church was full of them yeah of course i wait on a lot of those people <laughs> yeah. i'm like oh hamburger <laughs> oh, here's our lobotomy special uh nothing <laughs> get the fuck out Anyway, Gina, thanks for being here. Yes, thanks for Heidi, having thanks me. for being here. Welcome. Tell Shannon hello. Next time you come, please bring her. I will. Because, She's at um, Disneyland today. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, it is true. She's cool. at Disney. Yeah. Well, thanks for being here. Thank and you. And everyone, thanks for listening. Heidi, if people yes. want to support the show, what's the best way to do it, do you oh, think? It. Uh, they should go <laughs> no, fuck to... It, forget it. Gina, how do people support this show? Uh, Patreon.com slash Radio. How hard is that? Look at her. What I was going to say that. And if you want to <laughs> if you want to go on iTunes or Spotify, leaving a review helps the show tremendously. Yes. It gets the the show sent to other people. It gets it, you know, um uh uh, uh, uh suggested to yeah. other people. And uh that's what we want around here. We want to spread this thing like AIDS. Like herpes. In Heidi's words, yes. Yes. Um, what? I never said that. You sure did. A <laughs> gift that keeps giving. That's for AIDS, the best. Yeah. Um, thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week. This is Lola, and I'm here to tell the world to stop being such pussies and listen to Rare Form Radio. <laughs>